results there was a difference between planning for a year and not planning for a year and the results that i reaped were actually a reflection of how how prepared i was to face the year so today we uh we get to plan you guys plan with me next year so what i'll share is how to plan or rather how i'm planning for my year currently i'll also share some reflections on how my year went based on how i planned for it start praying for your year as early as maybe november the aim for praying is actually to allow your heart to to capture the word of god for your year this is what happened last time last year i prayed about my year in around november and i received what particular things that um that god shared that god highlighted for my year that will be actually called them landmarks of grace I, I noted them down on my journal and when we went for when we prayed about the year now on new years there was such a um, precision with the word that was that was brought forth by uh, my pastor and it was really cool to find that uh, there was there was such synchrony and I had greater confidence to uh, to face the year. Take time to pray and take time to prepare your heart concerning the coming year. I thought it's important to say this here. You might uh, pray and you feel like you don't you don't have a lot of perspective when you pray even if it's earlier and it's very very okay because God will build things up for you. As long as you're in communion with the Holy Spirit you will get to have more information as the days go by. Write what you foresee in your year. Now, you've already prayed about it. And when you pray, there's some, like God speaks to your heart. Uh, and you, you have great impressions in your heart. So note those things down. I have an, a journal where I just write things, particular things that God speaks over me and particular desires that I have. Some of them maybe I, I, they're just random desires that get dropped in my heart or, or new developments in my heart. Just write them down, write them down. Now about this, you don't have to restrain yourself to the air. You can just sit down and write everything that you want to see that you haven't seen yet. I did that um, last year and it let out a lot of some a lot of desires that I had that I had not expressed with my mouth before. Even if it's simple, write them down. So here we're writing down two things. We're writing down things that we feel God speak over concerning our year. And number two, things that are just in our hearts that we've probably never let out. Get a journal for this purpose. It's going to really, really, really serve you well. Uh, mapping out a year entails you going into the details. It actually entails a, a, a more intentional thinking process. So, for example, um, you can think about, are you going to school? Are you working? There's some things that are really, really definite that are going to be happening in your year and you need to reflect uh, be, uh, reflect on them because they're really going to inform where your time is, is going to be st spent. So, for example, this time, last year what i did is i knew i was going to uh i was going to join kenya school of law i knew i wanted to go to the gym that was a definite i knew the things that i was going to do with my family a bit of them and so i i noted them out so what i did with this is i really maximized them on my vision board uh, but what i'd recommend is um uh, use both a calendar and a vision board. I think one of the things that I didn't do is I didn't set out some timelines for crucial things. And so because I just had the vision board, I had to I had to incorporate the calendar later in the year. But as early as now, you can have both a calendar and a vision board so that you can note down things. You can say probably, okay, how this looks like is you're writing from January uh, 2nd to November probably 13th I will be in school 
from this time to this time i will be working at this place from this time to this time i'll be volunteering in this place so you're just setting out the timelines and the things that you want to the things that you can foresee now uh you already know the things that you're going to do you already know the things that you intend to do you have prayed about this and just something i need to mention right now is you need to give your faith something to look forward to we said in the beginning that you need to pray so that you can get the word for your ear and your faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of god so if you're going to live by faith in your ear you really need to pay attention to the word of god over your ear and sometimes he'd give he'd give word concerning particular things or general things so you'll be able to discern that um and you don't have to have everything figured out from the word go the good thing about receiving um a word earlier is that as you as you journey along it gets built up so that when you probably you just had a line when you were praying about it but by january there's you have a paragraph by february you have two paragraphs and then things start making sense some things that you just thought were ideas start fleshing out god starts giving you instructions based on the word that you that that he gave you and then you get to gain more clarity we're talking on counting your costs and deciding whether you're up to pay the price. Typical example, uh, I, I talked about deciding that I was getting back to my fitness journey in 2020. That meant uh, going to the gym. That meant I needed to think about uh, the gym that I'd go to, or if I'm not in a position to go to the gym, what would I do? because i was going to school so i had to think about whether there's a gym around the school and what if there's no gym around okay if there's a gym how much am i going to pay for it um, if there's no gym around what am i going to do those are things that i thought about and my first option was i i, I thought that i was a gym and then now madam covid happened and things just realigned and changed and so because I had I had a good mapping in that sense, I was able to count the cost. Like when I'd get my pocket money, I'd know there's an amount that needs to go to this thing because I have planned for it. You get? Uh, maybe you, you you're thinking about writing a book. Do you need to go through some particular training? Who's going to train you? Have you identified a facility and the like? Such things. If you're thinking about going back to school what will it take what amount of your time uh, if you're thinking about working while going to school how will that look like for you so you actually need to decide whether you're going to pay the price for the decisions that you've made those things that you've marked out mapped out what is going to be the price your energy your time uh if you if you want to be more deliberate with your friendships and relationships what will it take from you Think about just thinking about them and and processing through them will help a lot. This has been the difference between my many years and this particular year. Set around systems to protect your vision. It's one thing to get a, a vision, and it's another thing to have that vision well executed. I'm talking to this person who has prayed. And has received a word concerning the year so now you have received some particular things that you ought to venture into those things that you have received actually need to happen in the confines of a system before i was one of those spontaneous people i still am in some respect but i was too spontaneous to a point that some things would not happen some things that needed to happen would not happen just because i didn't protect uh, those thoughts and those visions with a system okay what this will entail will be us coming up with habits that actually feed into that thing that we need to have so um typical example because right now i'm in school uh, i want to get particular grades there's a process to that there's a process to that so 
there's there's a particular kind of reading culture that i need to have too and it's really nice for me to say i want to read more full stop uh and it's different when i actually have systems to facilitate this kind of grid that i want to get so i can say every day i have a minimum of four or five hours just to read on this particular topic the thing with not setting up systems is everybody has a system that is working for them whether you know it or not so there's some people have their systems set for them and some people actually set their own systems for example my, my sleep pattern was so distorted and so i needed to I needed to go back to the default so i decided that i wanted to sleep earlier what was happening before is i would sleep at whatever time people would sleep and so i'd end up waking up late and i'd end up having i'd end up not doing things that i needed to do during during the morning hours because i slept late so when i set out a system i said by this time i need to sleep by this time i need to wake up i told people around me that this is the system that i am working with and so everyone had to align to my system now they didn't have to make their system up for me because some people have because you don't have a system you don't you don't give priority to this goals and this visions this vision that you have so you end up um when you need to do this particular thing someone can just hijack what you're doing and then you don't end up doing what you needed to do setting up systems without a vision is dangerous because the systems don't have a point when you have a god vision you have to have systems to protect that god vision i think that's all that's all for for just perspective there's a lot that goes into planning a new year but it means something when you start right so as early as now start planning for your year start praying concerning your year and you will have a fruitful year just based on the word of god that will be declared upon you because the word of god comes to prosper you and not to steal from you and that is my declaration for you that you will prosper in your year because the word of god will be prospering you and that you will receive faith to face everything that comes your way in jesus name we pray amen